Pantry and today is a full-on canning day. Yesterday was too, I got the biggest project out of the way yesterday, making uh, stewed tomatoes and vegetables. Uh, so delicious. And in fact, I'm going to use one of the pint jars in a recipe for myself tonight for dinner. So, um, I don't know, if you want to see those kind of things, let me know and I'll show you uh, what I end up cooking for myself and still staying low carb, by the way. Um, but today, we're gonna throw the carbs and the sugar out the window and we're making jam. I picked rhubarb yesterday off of my rhubarb plant. And if you watch my garden update video, you could see how big it was. It was just loaded with mature stalks that I needed to cut. So I've got plenty of rhubarb to make my rhubarb strawberry jam. Well, when I went to the store to get strawberries, they were terrible. I mean, they, most of them were not ripe. They just didn't have the feel. And I've done rhubarb berry jam for you before, but this is another version of it, only I'm just gonna do straight up rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb. So, if you wanna see the easiest strawberry rhubarb jam you'll ever make, stay tuned, cause that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my burner on, and I'm gonna start my jam. This, I've got an easy 10 cups, whoa, of rhubarb that I've diced up, washed it, I, I chopped it up. <laughs> I lost a few pieces here. Um, I washed it and chopped it up and that's how that's gonna go. Uh, in that pot, and this is a six quart pot, um, this is my, oh, my Tupperware. This is like the best cookware I've ever had um, as far as a non-stick cookware. Lifetime guarantee, anyway four cups of sugar is going in. And you don't need pectin in this recipe at all. Now I'm gonna open a 22, no, 21 ounce can of strawberry pie filling because hey, there weren't any good strawberries. And I'm not, I don't wanna put yuck in there. So this is, this makes it easier. And you get that delicious strawberry flavor sorry and oh I, I swore if I got good strawberries this year I was gonna make strawberry pie filling but I didn't I didn't I mean I haven't seen any of course I haven't really gone to any of the farmers markets I just with working I haven't had time so that goes in and you cook that down <clears throat> Um, you're going to mix it, the sugar's going to melt, and macerate with the rhubarb. We're going to cook this down for about 10-15 minutes, and then we're going to add the next step. So I'll be back. Okay, so this has been simmering about 20 minutes actually. It took a little bit longer. I want to make sure the rhubarb is nice and soft, and I can smash it with the back of my spoonula. I love this thing. You know, when I first got this, I wasn't sure about it, but I really do love it for this kind of application. So I did put a couple pats of Kerrygold butter in here, and I'm gonna do three packages of strawberry jello. This is why we don't need pectin, plus there is a fair amount of pectin in the uh, rhubarb and the strawberries, and then the sugar will thicken it given the right amount of time and so oh it smells so good and so I do make a rhubarb jalapeno jam that you guys might be interested in at some point in time you can let me know if I I know I'm gonna get another picking of this rhubarb so if you'd like to see oh and look all the color you know and if if you're not into jello hey, no worries no harm, no foul. Okay, we're gonna let this come up. Oh, it's so pretty. And again, as it would be my luck, it has not mattered what kind of rhubarb I buy, what kind of plant I buy, I end up with the green variety. It's exactly the same taste as the red variety, but the stalks are green and they only have a red tinge on the very base of them. So I don't care anymore. I'm, I gave up trying and I got, what a beautiful rhubarb plant. So 
Now we're going to let this simmer for another, I don't know, two or three minutes. I'm mashing some big pieces of rhubarb and we're going to jar it up. I have my jars all hot and ready. Uh, they're in the dishwasher. I'm doing 12 ounce jars and I may do one small one to, and one big pint jar because I do have a recipe that this is absolutely fabulous in. But I want to make sure that I have a jar of this for my neighbor. Um, my neighbors absolutely blessed my socks off today, so I'm, I'm going to continue to do my best to make them feel like I am so very thankful and grateful for all their hard work. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> Mary Beth, Scott, mm, this one's for you. All right. Let's get this jar. All right, up. guys, it is time to jar it up and look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. I and it smells absolutely del divine, delicious. Oh, and it sets up really nice. Once this cools down, you're going to have a beautiful set for just a really good jam for, you know, bagels, for I'm going to do a pint jar of this because mm, I don't know. That's kind of girl I am and I know I'm gonna have extra so get my 12 ounce jars are great for gifts it's not too much I use the pint jars and you can go a quarter if it an inch in headspace but I'm not going to um, uh, we're gonna water bath this for 15 minutes and that'll be good look at that pretty 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 so I'm going to fast forward through this and I'll see you when I take you out. and I meant 10. I always did 15 minutes in Nevada because of the altitude, <laughs> even though I always said 10. This was 10 minutes in the boiling water bath and it came out. Look how beautiful. Woo! Already popping. Woo! Popping. And so after I, uh, when it came up to a boil in here, and this is um, the Fresh Tech, so you put it on canning. Once it came up to a boil, I let it go 10 minutes and then I shut it off and then I opened the lid and it's been sitting here for more than five minutes, but absolutely beautiful. Oh, another pop. Okay, so we're gonna get all these out and this is um, just gonna be a really nice strawberry rhubarb jam and oh, all those jars are gonna pop. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, so let's get all these out and here we go. That one popped while I had it in my hand. And here you go. So the suction is created, that's what creates the seal. Sometimes you'll get um, some up and down poppage. Now this, this is a pint jar. So I ended up with a beautiful amount of jam. So, um, seven 12 ounce jars of jam and one pint jar. This I'll use for a sauce that I have coming up for a recipe. Mm, if you want to know what I do with that, you need to come back. And the next rhubarb jam, because I do believe I'm going to get another picking at least this much, um, before the season is over, I'm going to make a rhubarb pepper jelly, which I've never made for you here on YouTube, but I'm going to do that. And if you want to see that, leave me a comment in the comment section. Maybe I won't do it unless you leave me a comment. So guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to take a really nice picture of this in the morning. I'm going to leave these jars sit 
and I even though I take the rings off if I'm storing them for myself if I give these to somebody I'm gonna leave the rings on because they won't have any way to store it after they open it in the refrigerator. So guys, I hope that in some way this might have inspired you to go ahead and try your hand at home canning. Home canning jam is the fastest, most delicious way to start and get your family hooked on home canning. And uh, this frees up my stove. I can, I, it has a spout here, I can drain it. I'll try to leave a link in the about section below for this particular Fresh Tech canner. So you can go on Amazon and, and look at it and see if it's something you want. I love it. You can do tamales in here, you can do soups. I've done bone broth in here. It's a huge pot. So, um, and it will do a ton of jam. The next jam recipe, mm, it's gonna be delicious. So stay tuned and um, let me know what you want in the about section below, leave me a comment. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.